Leading local care. Improving lives in Manchester. With you. In April 2018, we launched a new public sector organisation in Manchester, which will transform community-based health and care. For the first time, the organisations that provide community health, primary care, mental health and social care services in Manchester are working together in partnership to join up community-based health and care. This means that we're bringing teams together from different organisations to work with each other collaboratively. We're changing the way that community-based health and social care in Manchester is designed and delivered. We're integrating our services and building new and better ways to deliver care. We're bringing services closer to people's homes, creating local teams in each neighbourhood. We're working together with local people and communities and with local groups, charities and organisations to help to design the right services for each neighbourhood. We're supporting people to keep well, to be independent and to be connected to local support and communities. We're putting people at the heart of everything we do. To achieve what we want to and to create uh, an organisation that is able to put people at the heart of their care, four big organisations that already work in Manchester have given us um, some responsibility to do that and those organisations are the local authority, so Manchester City Council, Manchester Foundation Trust which is the big hospital trust in the city, the GP federations which represent all of the GPs and practices across Manchester and the Mental Health Trust and they have all agreed that they will um, give us some power to change what is on offer to people across the city in collaboration with the voluntary, charity and other sectors to create something quite different that has the power to change some of the uh, way in which we've done things for a long time. Making it easier. Providing the support and systems for us all to work together collaboratively across different organisations. Reducing duplication and silo working. Making more of the buildings we use. Sharing data and improving IT. So instead of um, having different uh, bits of information in different parts of the system, we'll be able to collect it all together and plan and organise new services in a different way so that we don't have to think about what happens in a GP surgery separately to what happens in a hospital and separately to what a social worker might do and separately to what a mental health worker might do. But instead we can get all of those people together in one room and come up with one plan for what's best for the people and patients in Manchester. Manchester's got thousands of dedicated health and care workers and we're building on a strong platform of people who are committed to the people of Manchester making a difference in their lives. This is about developing our relationships, understanding each other's roles and transforming our care models with people at the heart of everything we do to make sure we're supporting them to lead better lives, have more independence and really importantly that we're involving them in all of our plans going forward and asking them what is important to them. Simplifying the journey through our health and social care services. Working with local people and supporting carers. Involving people in their care. Locally designed care delivered in neighbourhoods. Reducing inequalities in experience, access and care in different parts of the city. Moving services closer to people's homes. So I think for the first time in my experience working in healthcare, both in hospitals and community services, this is the first time we've had the opportunity to work in a much more integrated way, connect teams in a much more integrated way, and make sure that conversations and support for families, for carers and for people and patients are all much more joined up in the system. And it's for us to use that knowledge and information to set out and improve services over the next two to three years. So mostly individual People, patients will access services in the way in which they do now. Sitting behind that though is a much more joined up approach to how we plan for your care and how we deliver that care across the city. The LCO in Manchester is seeking to support hospitals by speeding up the processes around which patients leave hospital. We can look at patients' requirements who might not need hospital and can access directly care in the community. So we'll hope to have those interventions in place. 
helping people stay independent in their homes and be connected to local support, services and community groups. Shifting the focus of care away from hospitals and into our communities. I think we're on a journey in Manchester about understanding and changing the way in which we think about public services. We know that for people's own health and well-being, staying at home, being close to family and friends when they need care or support is the best thing for them and that really people should only be going into hospital or residential care or nursing care if that is the only option. So what we're trying to build at neighbourhood level are a range of different options that people can choose from and we want to support that by giving people some personalised budgets, so some money and resources that they can use to buy that for themselves and to have the power to change their own lives as opposed to a service model that just looks at the difficulties that people are having. The things that influence people's health and keep, keeps them healthy, a big part of that is about having really good health and care services and medicines and doctors and nurses, nurses and they're really important. But what has even more of an influence are eating healthily, having family friends and being connected in your community, um, having green spaces that you can enjoy being active in and going for walks and running having a safe, warm house that's secure. Um, those are the kind of things that really keep us healthy and well. But for health and social care organisations to have an influence on those things, we need to work with housing associations and the people that run the transport and the voluntary and community groups in, um, in our neighbourhoods that run all sorts of different activities and things that can help people make friends and just keep well, keep well in their in their communities. Where the LCO can really make a difference is facilitating those connections and those relationships. I'm sure all sorts of creative solutions are going to emerge that we wouldn't have thought about if, if the LCO hadn't been there. We believe that by working together we can help the people of Manchester too have equal access to health and social care services. Receive safe, effective and compassionate care closer to their homes. Live healthy, independent, fulfilling lives. Be part of dynamic, thriving and supportive communities. Have the same opportunities and life chances no matter where they're born or live. Leading local care, improving, improving lives, lives in Manchester, Manchester. with you.